Welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today in this video, we will have a walkthrough on how to use hierarchy parser transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Let's look at the basic functionality of hierarchy parser transformation as such. A hierarchy parser transformation is used in Informatica Cloud Mapping in order to pass hierarchical data structures, especially XML and JSON files. In order to pass this hierarchical data structure, user first needs to define a hierarchy schema which user can define it after logging into Informatica Cloud UI and use the configure pull down menu to define the hierarchy schema. A XSD or a JSON file can be used in order to define the schema and user needs to select a root element. After selecting the schema in the hierarchy parser transformation user might need to give the input to this parser transformation either as a buffer mode or as a file. Then user might need to select the appropriate output fields which needs to be mapped to the downstream transformation. It is very important to note that after a schema which has been defined is used in any of the mapping which has hierarchy parser transformation, then this particular schema cannot be edited further. Let's go ahead and look at a demo on how to use hierarchy parser transformation. Log into your Informatica Cloud UI using your credentials and go to configure hierarchy schema to define a schema first. Click on new. Let me provide an appropriate name. Select an appropriate file using the browse button in this case I'm using an XSD file and select the appropriate root element in this case it is Aperia document click OK now the schema is defined and it is ready to be used in a mapping. Go ahead to the design pull down menu, click on mappings, click on new mapping, give appropriate name, now you might need to define a source and the hierarchy parser which would be parsing the hierarchy data structure. In this case I am going to use a flat file source which is going to have the path and the file name of the XML file which needs to be parsed. I'm going to select a connection path which is already configured at my end. and select the file which has the required details. Let me do a data preview in order to show how the file path looks like. This is how you configure a file path here. Now drag and drop on hierarchy parser. Give appropriate business name. Select the mode in which you would like to get the input. In this case we will be getting the input as a file path select the schema file which you had already defined map the source transformation to the input of the parser transformation and map the fields accordingly the field mapping select the appropriate 
fields which needs to be mapped to the downstream transformations. In this case, we are going to directly map it to a target flat file. Map the output of the parser transformation to the target flat file. It would request you for the element group which needs to be mapped. Select the element group. Now go ahead, click the target transformation. Configure the connection, flat file connection, the target transformation. I already have a flat file connection being created, so I'll be using the same. I'm going to create a new one during the runtime, hence I'm providing a name. Click Save and Continue. The mapping is valid. If you would like to schedule or create a task which can be run on a schedule or can be called using a REST API, it would be good to create a mapping configuration task. But since this is a demo, I'll go ahead and do a save and run of this particular task. Select the secure agent in which it needs to run. Since there is no parameters, you would directly click on run button to run the task. Click on the detail view to see what is the row count. As you could see, the task ran successfully fetching one row. This concludes the demo. Thanks for watching the video. We would like to hear from you. You can email the feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com infasupport.